Hi, I'm Gina and we're at Ambush Gallery. This is our third Being Gnarly. It's a science fiction show. It's pretty cool. There's lots of different artworks. And I just wanted to introduce you to the curator of the show, my husband. This is Glenn. Hi, I'm Glenn. And he puts all these shows together. We're uh, doing eight in what, two months? Eight in two months, once a week. Once a week? Yeah. So please come to one of our shows and drink lots of Young Henry's beer and have a good time. Or don't. Come bring your own cordial, don't look at anything, get angry at everybody and make an asshole of yourself. We've got Sam with us at the moment, who's one of the artists. But not just that, he's our intern and does all our social media. So we shall be adopting him when the um, show's finished, I think, and um, feeding you up. Yeah, um, me. Tell me, um, first of all, do you want to explain what your subject matter is? I know it's a science fiction show, but yeah. what did you do and why did you do it? Uh, my artwork uh, I did when I was really stressed. Uh, so that's kind of what it's about. Uh, and it's all about Jack Kirby as well. Point to your artwork so we know which one's yours. My artwork is there. So Sam, can you uh, let me know what your favourite artwork is and why? I have a couple of favourites. I feel like I'm cheating. My dad is in this exhibition, so I have to say him. Uh, my sister as well, she's also in it, so I have to say her. Uh, but otherwise, it's a painting of Meat, Meat, Meat with a UFO. Let's go and have a look at it, because yeah, it's one of mine it. too. Let's go. Sorry, guys, we're going to go and have a look at some meat. Meat, Meat, Meat. Oh, before we get to the Meat, Meat, Meat. Uh, so this is my sister's artwork, uh, Annabelle McEwen. It's a print, I think. It's uh, most likely a lino cut, I think. Yeah, yeah. she's a very talented printmaker. Uh, this is... Meet, meet, meet. And then my dad's artwork is down this way. Let's push some people. This is my dad's artwork. Uh, also Jack Kirby inspired, like father, like son. Uh, but I did mine first, so anyway. Uh, but yeah, you can see the uh, those black energy lines. That's called Kirby Crackle. So. There you go, you've had a comic lesson today. Here's Lizzie. She's one of my favourite artists here. Can you explain your artwork for me, please? Because it needs to be explained. <laughs> sure thing. Okay. I kind of wanted to do something that moves and something that just seems a little bit not right. And I'm a little bit interested in VHS glitch. A lot of my memories of childhood have that kind of um, bad footage kind of feel to it. But also, I tried to revisit um, the street that I grew up on and I had to put the memory together using Google Maps and Google Maps has this weird way of taking cameras intermittently and kind of kind of piecing, like in the, in the bins over here, you can see that Google Maps kind of pieces the edges of the, the street view a little bit weirdly. And so I thought I would include that in a painting where I move and I'm trying so hard to remember my childhood, but it's just interrupted by these strange glitches. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit black mirrory, and it's a little bit about trying to remember something and only having digital evidence. It's weird. I absolutely love that, and you know what I really liked is the product placement as well. Did you notice the product placement? The product placement. <laughs> say that this is one of my favorite pieces in the whole show and I can't believe how you do it like what materials you use because there's a lot of people that don't believe me when I tell them well that 
they don't believe that it's colour pencil. Yes. Well, well that's because I'm a little bit OCD. So it, you can tell that. What? Just from <laughs> from the way I'm holding my body language, or no, from the no. art? It's just so beautifully done. Oh, Jenny, it's so like, beautifully done. You're like my biggest supporter. Well, you know that well, I verbally, you know. not financially. <laughs> The detail that you can get with lead pencil and coloured pencils is pretty remarkable. Yeah, thanks. Well, I do an acrylic wash underneath and then coloured pencils. Shh, don't give too much away. Oh, no, it's enough. It's enough of the detail. But it's... I, I wish I could paint paints, but I've given that a go and I'm not... I, lo I just lose my shit with it. Well, this is definitely your medium. It's just beautiful. And we're glad to have love you it, the Love show. it more and bring your checkbook next time. We've already sold it, for God's sake. I know, but I didn't sell it to you, Jane. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. <laughs> Steve, once again you've joined us for the next Being Gnarly. I'm so glad that you actually are here. Can you explain a little bit about your work? Because it's just so tactile and... I just want to stick my fingers in it. So can you explain a little bit? Well, it, I used to do a lot of pen and ink, and then I switched to doing acrylics, and I got much more painterly with my art, but I decided for this one to go back to pen and ink. Oh, right. But as long as you want to stick your finger in it, that's the way I want to go. You've done a really lovely job with it. Thank you very much. It's a great show to be a part of. Woohoo! <laughs> Trina, can you please tell me a little bit about your beautiful piece? Uh, yeah, it is spray paint and blue and acrylic on a timber panel. It's actually also got a screen printed back, but I don't know if you can take it off to see that. I've been watching um, a lot of like sci-fi documentaries and a lot of about Egyptian culture. Yeah, so I sort of was going with an Egyptian theme originally, which is the screen printing on the back. And then with this, I thought if aliens were trying to rule the world, the symbols in these little um, gold icons are probably what they'd use to make humans go crazy, which is really what has happened. Um, all the things that might separate humanity and make us, you know, yeah. I like it a lot. I love the way that you put your symbols in, but I needed it explained to me. That's why I thought I need to talk to you. That's all right. My artwork usually need some explaining. So does mine. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, thanks But Sadie. it's open for interpretation that way. Hey Ross. Hi Gina, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Fantastic. No coronaviruses on me yet. Not me either. There's some young hairy viruses, but no coronas. Um, hey, Ross. Yes. May I ask, you've been with us now three times, and this is our science fiction show. Um, can you explain your uh, artwork to me, please? Uh, my artwork is basically about corporate control of artwork, uh, which I think is going to be a big problem going forward with things like Apple Store, uh, Facebook, and Instagram clamping down on uh, a lot of artists are getting works banned and that sort of thing. So. Um, it's about basically the control that they try to have and how that inf how that's going to influence um, artists in the long run. Uh, which is great. The whole reason why we have things like Biennale is because people can do things uh, that you know it, it's out of like it's out of that safe space and, and out of that uh, controlled environment. Hey Ross, can I ask you what your favourite beer is? My favourite beer is Natural Lager by Young Henrys. I quite like that one too. It's definitely a favourite of mine, but I also like the Newtowner. They're both delicious. I'm Gina and I'm just going to say a nice big goodbye and thank you for supporting Biennale and the science fiction show tonight. Hope you had lots of fun because I bloody did. Bye!